This video is brought to you by the following sponsors. Number one, read the line. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. That's not him. Okay. Number two, read the line. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. Absolutely not. Okay. Number three. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. That's him. Every year, one in five gamers is accosted by an elf. We're tired of elves. What's up, Lorehounds? It's Cooper here. We're at the Perfect World Entertainment booth. We're here with Jonathan, the product manager, and we're checking out Battle of the Immortals, which you guys probably know that Amatera and I have been talking about that quite a bit in our podcasts and, you know, going over. We tried to get a video together, but we haven't. We'll probably do that. But we've been, you know, we tried to play together for a while, and then it ended up he goes ahead and gets to, like, level 50. Um, it's, it's fairly easy to level in the game. It's very gratifying. You don't, you don't grind out levels forever. You get new spells as you go and stuff like that but I hit like level 20 right before you guys launched and then he just goes through the roof and just plays to level 50 now he's outpaced me too far so something you may not know is once you hit level 60 you actually get access to a new system called the master and apprentice system so if your friend gets to level 60 or higher he can actually make you his apprentice and then as you level up together you both get rewards you get an exp bonus whenever you're party together and you get certain instances and dungeons that only you two can do together so he doesn't really take a penalty for that he just he doesn't like gain less because he's with someone lower and I don't gain less it's so basically we built out the game to be very accessible both from a veteran player standpoint and a new player standpoint uh, we have an induction ID system where you can copy a little code give it to your friend and they get a bunch of gear when they start but on top of that <clears throat> There's a lot of dungeons in the game where if you and your friend get into a group, uh, you go into a dungeon, certain dungeons will average out the levels of everybody in the group and make it a meaningful experience for everybody. So not only are you getting, in a sense, power leveled, but your friend is still getting experience that's meaningful to him. Right, it's, still not, it's not useless. He's not wasting his time. Exactly. Um, so what do we have so far? I mean, you guys just launched. So it, you, after revamping everything, making the store very, you know, North American friendly and stuff like that, um, what are we looking forward to? I mean, I guess it may be a little early, but... So, you know, in closed beta and open beta, uh, we really got a lot of feedback from our users. As you just said, we changed a lot of stuff. We added WASD movement. We changed the control scheme. We had a lot of new features for Western players. <clears throat> so where are we going from here? What we're doing now is we're looking at the content that's 60 plus. We're looking at the rate at which players level, the amount of content that you have available to you on a daily basis. We actually have a new event that's coming within the next couple of weeks for North America only, or North America and Europe only, um, and it's called the Zodiac Gauntlet. It's actually kind of like a boss siege where you go in and you fight boss after boss randomly, and you get a bunch of EXP, a bunch of rewards, and it really like survival mode. Uh, you can kind of think of it like that. It's as many bosses as you can handle. So basically, week over week, we're going to be publishing a single boss at a time, letting the players try it out, getting their feedback, adjusting the boss, and then once we've completed 12 bosses, we'll put it all together in one big event that players can do every day. Uh -huh. That's pretty neat. And is that going to be one of your numerous like daily tasks? Because yeah. you guys have so many hooks to keep you playing. Yeah. It's unreal. That's one of the things we were talking about the podcast. Like you go to log off, and it's like, hey, if you wait 15 more minutes, you'll be able to, you know, get the in-game money. What was it called again? The uh, coins or salary? The salary. That's what it was. Yeah. I mean, BOI is really a great game in the fact that. Just like what you said, there's a lot of daily events that really allow you to shape how you want to play it. You know, on any day you can go in and just do some traditional questing like any other MMO, or you can log in and do a bunch of daily events if that's what you want to do. It's really a game that that is shaped by you, the player, and how you want to play it, rather than vice versa. Uh, how many? Um, what's the max party again? Uh, party. Six. Six. And is that going to change it at any time in the future, possibly, so for like rating, we like actually, even bigger? We already have a system in place where <clears throat> guilds can participate in these giant battlegrounds where it's teams of 30, so five teams of six per guild. And it's up to six teams. So it's like 180 players all in one space, all doing a battleground, competing for various objectives and territory wars. So it's a really crazy system. Uh, you really should level up and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all PvP based? Yes, mostly. But there is some PvE raiding stuff that we are working on. We realize that there's a lot of hardcore raiders, and they love raiding, and, and we need to bring you what you want to play. So, 
Yeah, that, that would be me, definitely. I'm not so much of a PvP PvP here, but I love my uh, PvE and going killing some monsters. A lot of really crazy PvE content in BOI. Actually, at level 90, there's a dungeon called the Gates of Hell, where it's actually a single-player dungeon, where once for the first 50 players on the server complete that dungeon, the gates of hell open up, and then the hell instance becomes available for the entire server. So there's That's a lot a nice of, world uh, yeah, there's achievement a, there. There's a lot of PvE related content that actually requires players to unlock it as a server. Yeah. That's really cool. That's one of the things I remember a lot of, of the MMOs I played where you had to work as a server towards something. Exactly. And then it, it's a huge sense of achievement when you're there, especially yeah. if there's like, cool cutscenes or it's stuff a like that. Sense of achievement, and it's also like one of those milestones in your gaming career that you'll, you'll never remember. forget. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right, thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. <laughs>